Hi everyone, welcome back to Grace's Garden. So today we are going to do a little plant haul. Also we're going to move the African violets from the front porch to in front of the garage. They're getting way too much sun. And then I'll give you a little update on the butterfly garden. And also we're going to repot some plants. And I'll give you a little seed update as well. So I am in Florida Zone 9B. And we're going to start with the plant hall. So I went to the University of Florida Seminole County Plant Expo. It was at the Seminole State College. And they have the native plants and just other plant vendors and planty type things at the expo. Um, and they also have like a pollinator's garden you can walk through and a vegetable garden you can walk through. It is really nice and I've got some ideas and I even had to write down some names from the pollinator garden so I can look for those plants. I should have taken pictures but I did not. Okay, we'll start with the plant haul. The first thing I purchased was two of these um, cocoa, uh, coconut grower poles, 24 inch. They were $3.49. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And she only charged me two for five, so that was even better. I've seen those things really expensive, so not bad there. Next thing was a wild penny royal. It was nine dollars, and look at those flowers! Isn't that beautiful? You can go in direct sun, and this is from the native plants here in Florida. These things, people were just snatching them up. I only got one. They were just flying off the shelf, and the guy was. Uh, who was running the booth he was so surprised he was like they're gone already he goes i only bought 20 and they were gone so and i was there when they opened so yeah that is very pretty it's a fuzzy so i'm hoping to try to find some seeds for this so, so i can grow it this year and the next thing was swamp milkweed it's looking okay i've had a hard time finding these this year i don't know if it's just too early in the season or what's going on with it but that is the only one they had they had more but that was the healthiest looking one they had um i ordered some seeds off of amazon for the milkweed so hopefully i'll get those soon they had like a huge bucket of seeds for like 23 dollars, and i'll show you those when i get them and then the next thing was a cactus orchid he said it was a night blooming cactus is what he called it and this, he wasn't sure if it was the white one or the red one. He was a very old man, and, and he was so kind, but he couldn't remember things. So, um, yeah, so we'll be surprised. I've been wanting one of these for a while. This was only $15. He had a giant one he wasn't selling just as a showpiece. It was just beautiful. So I'm very excited about that. And the final thing was... It was just listed as golden. Tiny little petite yellow flowers. This is more of a shade plant. I had one of these a few years ago. It kind of just drowned in the Florida rain. So this year I'm going to put it in a better spot. And uh, hopefully take care of it a little bit better. And this was only $6. So not bad there. So these are the two plants we are going to pot up today. This is the Philodendron 69686. It's looking a little sad, but it is still alive. There's a little green speck right there. Um, so I just let it get too dry this winter and really should have taken it in the house. Um, so it didn't get a part, you know, have to participate in the cold snap. But uh, <laughs> um, it's a little dry up here, but I think it will do fine. I mean, if it's it's got a growth on it. So, so I'm going to get this repotted up and then also this philodendron uh this one i don't know the name of it but i just love that leaf and the red stem and it's been in these pots probably about a year i got these at the plant festival last year and um, it looks like they're very root bound so i'm going to get these two potted up and i'm going to put these in each of the pots and these are just pots i got from the dollar tree they have the little watering lip on them so I think that will be nice. All right, so we'll get started with that. The 
Yeah, look at those roots, the roots. It's a very sandy soil too. And it's kind of wrapping around. I just noticed that now. I am going to need more soil. And these are very dry. Very dry. I wonder if I should cut that off. Yeah, they are just falling apart. Let me get some clippers. Okay, got some clippers. Yeah, look how dry that was. It was actually just breaking down already. Mm. And that is the chickens you hear in the background. <laughs> the other day I came outside and the chickens were in the front tree. Like all the way at the top of the tree. And the tree is very tall. Uh, it's tall as a one, taller than my one-story house. Um, but I was like, I don't know what they were doing up there. I mean, I assume they just jumped lower branches till they got to the top, but um, we've had a lot of possums lately, so maybe they're hiding from the possums. And these are also very dry, so I am going to cut this off as well. This one... I'm going to cut that. I'm going to leave that little nubbin. Oh, no, I'm not. I, I cut it as I said. I'm going to leave it. It's a little mushy. I'm going to take it down. There we go. I think that'll be fine. Anyways, they were in the tree all the way to the top. And they wouldn't come down, so. But they came down eventually. We'll get one of these poles to put in there. You know, I've seen these poles so expensive. So when they were only $3, I was kind of surprised. But I um, thought that was a good deal. I kind of regret not buying all of them. She only had about four of them. But yeah, so I know it's not ready for a pole yet, but it will be. I have hope on that one. And then this is the other one. Oh boy, this is going to be hard to get out of a pot. Oh, oh man, look at those roots. Oh, that is very, at least they're very healthy. Look at that one. Nice fat little root. Okay. Some of these are a little dry. But these feel okay. All right, let me go get some more soil. Okay, so. I don't think I made the hole deep enough for this plant. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. Sometimes you just gotta start again. And hopefully that will just climb right up there and take over 
So I really just love the shape of these leaves. And I love this little red stem. Not little, but <laughs> I love this red stem. It's kind of very coarse feeling. It has a lot of texture to it. So let me show you the violets and we'll show you where I'm moving them to. So these are the violets that have been on my front porch, front of the front door. And as you can see, they have been getting burn marks. Here's some burn here and on some of the others. It's just, they were fine here all winter, but the sun is just changing. So going to move these, they're also a little tight, so they're kind of overlapping in the leaves. And I think that's just kind of irritating them as well. So we're going to move them. And I'm going to put the two pots we just planted up here. And let me show you where I'm moving these two. So it is this stand here. I'm going to drag it out and put it actually in front of the garage. My garage door is open. It's a little messy. But I'm going to put it in front of the garage door right here. And I think it should be fine. It gets a lot of shade. The Bogan Villa here um, is on the side of the garage. And so that should shade it. And that should be plenty. I think if not, I'll move them again. But that is where I plan on putting them right now. So we got to get that stand out and get them taken care of. Okay, everyone. So before I show you the African violets on the new plant stand, which is not the one I originally showed you, I realized that there was a lot of plants when I was moving them to get to that plant stand that needed a refresh. So we're going to kind of refresh some soil in the plants. So this one, just the soil just seems to have disappeared and the plant isn't even standing up straight anymore. I can never remember what the name of this plant is, but and it's very wet in there. So I'm just gonna take everything out. Oh, there's a lot of babies and a lot of just dead debris in there nice healthy root systems there and I'm just going to dump this icky mushy soil so I mean I'm not going to wipe down the pot or bother with that but I am just going to put fresh soil in it I'm going to plant it to the top I really wish I had some decorative rock to put on top of this, but on top of the soil after I get everything planted, but I don't right now. Um, so I'll have to pick some up this week. And I'm just going to pop these all back in there. I'm going to hit this one. <laughs> this growing up uh, because it was leaning on its side. Just was started putting out a root on the side of the, the plant instead of down here. Hmm. And all these little babies I'm just going to pop in. Even this leaf... That broke off. I'm just going to put it in. These things um, propagate really easy. This one has some nice babies on it. And I think that would just help the plant become much more full and healthier and happier. Oh, one more baby. So just refresh the soil a little bit. I know some of the roots are sticking out, but they'll be fine. Okay, and the next thing we're going to repot is this Mickey Mouse cacti. Um, it has a lot of pieces that have rotted, some little babies, and this pot is plastic and it is just falling apart. When I grabbed it, my thumb went right through the right through the pot. So, and I'm going to dump this soil. I don't think it's any good. So we're going to repot this into this here. And I have a cactus glove I got at Aldi's. They're a pair. I've lost the other one. Uh, <laughs> I lose stuff a lot. Um, so... I am just going to put some more soil in there. Actually, I want to get a little bit more. Okay, got a little bit more soil. And 
And this one here is kind of rotted. So I am just going to cut it off. And we got one good little root there, and it looks like a little baby coming out. And it looks like we have a baby on this piece here that is also kind of rotted. So we're going to cut that off. As, actually, I wonder if I could break it off. Yeah, I was able to just break it off. It has a little bit of root there. And I got this plant like 10 years ago at Ikea. Um, I haven't been to Ikea in probably 10 years since I bought this plant. But... And there is another piece here that is very dirty, but it's kind of half dead, half alive. So yeah, I'm just going to stick that in there as well and see how it does. This one that I cut off earlier still has a live piece. I think I'm just going to place it on top and see what happens with it. Maybe it will come back. And then the rest of this, I'm just going to throw the whole thing out and the soil. And we have one more plant to transplant. I'm going to transplant the watch chain plant. It's getting a little leggy, and I'm going to put it in this pot that has no, um, no drainage in it. But I think it'll be okay. It'll be underneath um, the cover on the porch. that will do much better. And we actually do have one more plant. Okay, so this is the last plant. I don't know the name of this one either, but it is bulging out the sides. Roots are coming out the bottom, and it is um, in this tiny little pot. It just keeps tipping over. So, and it is quite large. So I'm going to put it into this nursery pot and size it up quite a bit. And I'm going to put my gloves back on. I got this um, about four years ago. Three years ago at the Winter Garden Plant Festival, which is coming up. I cannot get it out of the pot. I'm going to have to cut it out, I think. those little tubers or bulbs 
Oh, I feel bad for it now. I kept it in there so long. There it got me. The one that was at the Winter Garden Plant Festival, which is coming up in April sometime. So if you're local, it's definitely something worth seeing. But um, it was huge, probably probably two foot around. Not the tentacles, just the base of it. I mean, it wasn't for sale. It was their display one. But it was gigantic. I wonder how long it took to get that large, but they're there every year. I might ask this year. They have some beautiful plants. The same vendor comes every year, so. All right. So there it is repotted. Almost needs a hanging basket. I guess I could probably do that in the future, but this is where we're at right now. And I want to go put it on the cactus shelf. So this is the cactus shelf and euphorbias and different things like that. So, and that's where I placed it right there. I don't have a whole lot on the bottom shelf right now. But it should be coming soon. I think I'm going to put the Moonlight Sansevieria down there. I have to repot that as well. Alright, let me show you the African Violets. So this is where the African Violets ended up in front of the garage and a couple of Christmas cactuses and I think this is called the walking Sansevieria something like that it just gets very leggy well it kind of keeps putting rhizomes out along the way and it the original plant died off and then put this one out so but yeah I think that'll be good filtered sun over here and I think that will, will help it not get burnt. If not, I'm going to move them to the back porch. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, let's go look at the butterfly garden. Okay, so here is an update on the butterfly garden. So I have got a lot of plants planted. There is orange cat there. And I've moved the seedlings out here so they can get plenty of sun. Some of them are coming up. So we have some seeds here, and I think these are the squashes or the gourds that are coming up. Just about every cell does have something coming up in them, so I'm happy about that. And I did sprinkle some of that wildflower mix that I got off from Amazon. That was just a variety of pollinators. And they are starting to come up. I don't think you can see it too much here, but it's right in here. And then over here, they're starting to come up. I hope that those are the seeds from the pollinator mix and not weeds. But they are starting to sprout all over the place, so I'm hopeful on that. And this is where I planted the sunflowers. As you can see, like every single sunflower <laughs> uh, popped up. So it is one long green spike there. Some of the morning glory are starting to come through as well. I think they might take a little bit longer to germinate. I'm going to have to go through and thin out the sunflowers, but I'm going to wait to do that. So that is a quick update on the butterfly garden. Hi everyone, it's my shadow. <laughs> Everything's looking pretty good and healthy. No issues so far, which I'm thankful for. And there's Orange Cat just relaxing in the garden as he does every day. All right, everybody, that is it for today. 
I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.